Hello everyone, this is Melanie from Melanie B's Creative Studio. And today, you will never believe what we're going to be discussing. Paintbrushes, again. All right, the, the search for the perfect paintbrush at the perfect price is what we're trying to accomplish, right? So, I have tons of fabulous paintbrushes. And I guess you're probably wondering, if I've got so many great paintbrushes, why do I keep looking for better ones? Well, I'm not necessarily looking for anything better, but I am looking for something that is more cost efficient, um, budget conscious. You know, I'm trying to basically shop for my budget, but also for your budget. So you guys may have unlimited funds, I don't know. But I also don't know if you are working with, you know, very little. So I want to try to make sure that I am testing out different brushes in order to try to help those of you who may not be able to afford some of the Princeton brushes, which I absolutely love. They're still my favorites. But let's just talk about a couple of packs that I found on Amazon. So a while back, my first order ever with Masterpiece by Numbers was this set of paintbrushes. And um, they are for detail work but also for a little bit larger um, sections as well. So I thought, oh, that would be a great set. When I got them, I'm gonna tell you, I tried them and I was like, meh, I don't really like them. I did not really like them at all. Well, I paid $16.99 for the set. And so what I've done is recently, I've picked these brushes back up and I wanted to see if the cosmetic wipe technique would work and help re kind of restore these brushes. And so that's what I started with. I was like, let me test these brushes back out again. Well, now I've gotten to where I'm using them almost every single painting. Like I'm using them a lot. So this brush set came with a size three round, a size one round, a two slash zero, a three slash zero, and then a five slash zero. And so the set itself, now that I've started using them more often, has been amazing. But I didn't want to spend $17 for five brushes. So I went in search of the same brushes at a cheaper price. So the reason I bought two sets is because they have different sizes in each set. And I wanted to try the different sizes and see which one I'm gonna use the most or if the, you know, if the brush is too long, am I gonna use that brush? That kind of thing. So two different companies, two different sets of sizes, and I'm gonna talk about which sizes are in which set and um, so that you can decide which set would work for you, you know, best. These are the same five sizes that I just told you about in the Masterpiece by Number set. And this set is $11.99 right now with prime shipping. I am gonna test the quality and to make sure they're going to be equivalent to the Masterpiece by Numbers one. Um, and then this one has smaller, smaller brushes in it. So I'm gonna open this one up first and we're gonna talk about these little tiny ones and how well they paint. I'm actually gonna test them on my painting and I'll talk to you about this painting in a second. Now, there are many other sets on Amazon that look very similar to these. I did research. I mean, like I literally went on there and, and opened every single paintbrush set and zoomed in on it because we need bristles that are not like liner bristles. We need the ones that are, you know, not long. We need more control because we're dealing with little tiny openings in a lot of cases. And so it, the reason I've chosen these two was because they didn't look like the, the length of the bristle was so long that it was gonna be hard to handle. This one is two zero. So these two fall in between these two. And then you've got a three slash zero, but it's a little different, it looks like. It's very thin compared to the three slash zero in this one. And then you've got a five slash zero, which is tiny and very thin. It's almost like, I mean, one hair. And then this one is a 10 slash zero, and it is super, super tiny and has just one little, looks like a couple little hairs. So these may be harder to keep from fraying, but we won't know until we try them, right? Now the painting I'm using for an example today is an Anna Banana painting. It, it doesn't really specifically have a name, but it is in the Nature and Landscapes collection on their website, if you're looking for that. 
It is very cute and it's going to be amazing when I'm done and it's just been a quality piece. So that's why I was gonna use it today to test our brushes with. So let's start with a little bit of a larger section. So when I go into a section this big, I can use like a one round. Now after I rinse my brush, I always take it to my makeup wipe and I'm just gonna pull it and smooth it out. And that just keeps it in the perfect shape. So I did all of that with size one round. So let's do a little tiny opening. So here's a number three that's very small. And I'm gonna take the smallest brush just to see if it works well. I'm gonna get it wet and wipe it on my cosmetic wipe. And just that's just to get it so if it's got any kind of conditioning residue on it that I've gotten that off. The length of it is kind of long, which concerns me a little bit. Yeah, I'm very, very, mm, very hard to control. Very, very hard to control. Okay, so let's go up to a larger size. I'm not loving this 10 slash zero. This five slash zero is a little longer, which means the control is gonna be a little harder. This one is a little bit shorter, and so I feel like that one's gonna be better. Now, this one's the Golden Maple brand, and this one is the, it looks like Boot. So. I'm gonna try both of these to see which one I like better because I feel like I'm already leaning towards the $11.99 set of paintbrushes because they're gonna have the most usable brushes in them for our purposes. So let's see how this one from Golden Maple works. This one's a lot better than the 10 slash zero. Yeah, that one did okay. Um, I'm gonna try another one here, another number three. What I'm really hoping is that this is not going to fray because the little ones tend to do that. I go through the small sizes so fast because I'm having trouble, like I said, restoring them. So that one's okay. I like that one all right. Let's try the boot one. Okay, I'm gonna try this little three right here. Oh, it's already, mm, it feels too long, like a, a liner. And some of you may like it. I mean, I just, I lack control when it's kind of loosey-goosey like that at the end. It's okay. I don't love it. I don't love it. Now, I know that's just my first impression, but I'm just, I'm really struggling with it to cover. So let's go in with size three slash zero. And again, the one from Golden Maple is shorter than the one from Boot. Boot, I don't know if that says E-Boot, or I don't know what that says, this looks like Boot. All right, so this one's a little longer, this one looks a little thicker, so let's try them both. I'm trying to stay in a, a painting section that is about the same size, so I can compare apples to apples here. This one, I wouldn't really need this thin brush for this little opening. It's not that tiny. But I do like this one better, for sure. Yeah, that one gave me nice coverage, too. So this is the Golden Maple one. Again, I'm kind of leaning towards that brand so far. All right, now this one is the Boot one, and it is such a long liner. So let's go with this little tiny opening for number three. I mean, it's okay. It's not as hard to work with as the um, five zero or the 10 zero, but I wouldn't want to buy a whole set just to get this one size. And I'm having to go over that one a little bit more. Okay, so that one's okay. My purpose of doing this is to see if these are equivalent to the Masterpiece by Numbers ones. If they aren't, then I'm gonna send you to Masterpiece by Numbers. Okay, so there's a little three opening right here that I'm gonna try with this number two zero. And with smaller brushes, you'll notice you have to dip in a little more often also. 
Okay, that was that was nice. Now I'm gonna try it with the masterpiece by numbers two slash zero and see which one I feel like it's got more control. So I'm definitely leaning more towards the golden maple set. So let's try the number, let's see the zero. We have a zero here somewhere in the boot set. Now I'm checking these to make sure they don't need a haircut before I start. One of them did. Now I know these are smaller openings. So let's go with one a little larger opening to use this larger brush. And um, so a zero is what this is. Let's go with this three opening right here. See the end, if it's so pointed, it's great, but at the same time, it's very flimsy and it moves too much. And if it gives you so much movement that it makes you move outside the line, I, I just don't like, I just don't like that. So every zero brush is not designed the same as another. There's different types of size zeros. So there's round, there's detail, there's spotters, there's filberts. I mean, there's a whole different group of them. So what you need to look for is that the bristles are not long, and I can't even work with that anymore. I'm not doing it. I don't like it. Let's go with a number one from Golden Maple. I think I use this one to do that over here. So let's see how we can do in this larger, in this little smaller opening. Normally I wouldn't go with a brush that's this large, but I just wanna see if I could and how much control it's gonna give me. Well, that does definitely work better. If you do not want to spend $17 on the Masterpiece by Numbers paintbrushes, then I recommend the Golden Maple set instead. I'm not loving the boot, and, and so I'm not going to recommend those. In fact, I'm probably going to send those back. But I think this is a great alternative to the Masterpiece by Numbers paintbrushes, and um, I think you should pick yourself up a set. You know, one day I'm gonna do an, a just a paintbrush video where I go through every single paintbrush that I use and love and all the sets and everything. And I feel like I don't want it to be redundant because I've mentioned all these different sets and different videos, but at the same time, sometimes it's nice to have everything put into one little package on a video to where you know, okay, this is what I need. Maybe I need to do a top 10. So look for that because I'm sure in the next week or two, if I don't have to move out, I'm going to probably be recording some more and that might be a great one to do. All right, I hope this was helpful. I always say that, but I really do. I don't make these videos for them not to be helpful. So I really, I really hope these ideas, these tools, these things that I talk about, these tutorials and techniques, I really hope that they are helping you feel comfortable and relaxed when you go to paint. Do not stress about this, you guys. I always say it, enjoy the process. It's about the process. It's not necessarily for me about the end result, even though I usually love it. I just love the process of painting and you should enjoy it too. All right, thank you guys as always for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, comment. If you can find the little notification bell, be sure to ring that bell and, um, and that way you can be notified when I put up a new video. All right, I'll see you guys soon.